In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a light-sensitive controller into your workshop. For this project, you're going to need a breadboard, a 10K photoresistor, a Phillips head screwdriver, and some jumper cables. First, we'll need to unplug our Werkstatt. Next, using the Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the top four screws to remove the top panel. Using one of your jumper cables, find tab 18 or 19, which will provide us with a positive five volts. Run this jumper cable into your breadboard. Now, using your photoresistor, take one of the leads to meet the voltage. Now, run another jumper cable from the opposite lead of the photoresistor. From that lead, patch into VCF in on your Werkstatt. And that's it. So let's make sure our connections are correct and power our Werkstatt back up. Now a photoresistor changes resistance depending on the amount of ambient light detected. I'm going to set the VCA mode to on so we can consistently hear the change in ambient light detection. As I change the amount of ambient light detected by the resistor, resistance is changed and therefore our voltage is changed going into our VCF in. This changes the sound of the filter itself. Playing around with the resonance knob on our Werkstatt will give us different timbres depending on how much ambient light is detected. By using just one extra component, we were able to add an expressive mode of control to our Berkstadt. All parts list and fritzing models are available online at berkstadtworkshop.com.